it on and start moving the arm. Uh, as I said, I'm using the uh, the uh, the ORB UNL mode, which can be indicated, which should be indicated by this switch. This mode is controlled by uh, the numpad. In this mode, actually, the numpad and the arrow keys control the arm's movement. We have the uh, the numpad. The numpad, by the way, has to have the numlock key pressed. And turn on in order to function correctly. If not, it's just to uh, act as a plain arrow. The keys are in use are the R2 and 8 keys. That hold on, I'll show you from the outside. The 8 key extends the arm, it stretches it forward uh, relative to the uh, or in line with the joints, meaning uh, it will always extend from the shoulder towards the uh, wrist. The two key will go the other way and retract the arm. Now as you can see, the, as I retract and extend the arm, the end factor has a tendency to go up and go down. This tendency is controlled uh, using the numpad 9 and 1, uh, sorry, 3. The 9 will raise the arm, well, it takes a second to uh, get in. Okay, now you can see it raises the arm, and the three does the opposite. It lowers it. I uh, usually can use two or three keys at a time. In this case, I'm gonna retract the arm and uh, s switch between raising it and lowering it in order to keep it in the fairly steady height, which is uh, uh, a fair clean uh, clearing height above the cargo while still visible. In addition, I need to get the OBSS, which is, hold on, which is on the left side of the cargo bay, so I can add in the left, the left uh, numpad, the 4, which will uh, yaw the, uh, the shoulder wrist to the left. Uh, this operation uh, takes a while, so while at it, we'll go uh, over the uh, end factor movements. The end factor is controlled by the arrow keys as well as the uh, delete and page down keys that are located above the arrow keys. The up and down will uh, pitch the end factor up as you can see it moving right now. Let's change the angle. It's a bit tricky. I'm pressing three keys at a time right now. Pitching up and pitching down. usually works a little faster but we'll have to do as you can see it now which is back down to zero we know that in this mission we are required to uh, get it to uh, about minus 90 so I'll just keep lowering it down and down and down now notice that I'm currently pressing four keys I'm pitching it down I'm retracting the arm moving with left and uh, switching between movement up and down in order to control the arms, the arm altitude above the uh, cargo bay. Now, um, this part we need to get back in to get better view of things. Now, the uh, RMS wrist cam shows us that we are roughly above the, uh, the grapple. Now the OBSS has two grapples, we need to make sure that we are looking at the one on the very end and not the one in the middle. So we'll turn it a bit to the left and as you can see here, this is the end of the OBSS, so this is the correct grapple point. We can also see that in the external view. Now let's go back to the T2 dimensional cockpit. Now we can see that the pitch and the yaw and the roll have uh, quite different values of what, of what we need them to be. We need the pitch to be minus 90, so let's pitch things down. But look what happens when I pitch the when I pitch the uh, wrist down? It actually changes the angle of the pitch of the wrist itself because of the position of the arm turned sideways. It actually uh, affects the yaw axis, the yaw uh, attitude, as you can see here. So, to get a yaw, I need to pitch down. And look at the pitch. 
pitch now is minus 90 but if we look from the outside if I yaw the wrist to the right using uh, the page down key you see the arm is actually going right if you look in the uh, coordinates the attitude it actually pitches so left so-called pitch it back by yawing left back to minus 90 now look at the roll we are uh, at uh, about 84 roll we need to be at zero what happened when we move the arm uh, we turned it so now this camera that indicates the the zero the axis of, of the uh, wrist uh, roll is measured by is actually pointing uh, about 90 degrees to the left. This is why it's almost 90. The the axes are all measured relative to the shuttle itself. That way, the tail's way is uh, the roll zero. That way is well. It's not only roll. You got zero both the yaw way and the uh, roll both are towards the tail so if we're turning it 90 degrees left we're actually yawing it to uh, plus 90 to plus 90 or minus 90 to plus 90 if we uh, yaw it to the right we're yawing it to minus 90 so if you get uh, let's say an angle of minus 60 on the yaw you should know it will probably be something like this in angle uh, the roll is, uh, let's pause the game a bit, the roll is towards the tail as well. Uh, right now the camera is rolled to the left, we'll turn, start rolling it right, and pause it. Rolling right towards the tail, the pitch is also relative to the shell itself. This axis says the zero, if the arm is pointing that way, it's minus 90, that way it's plus 90. It's fairly easy to uh, gra grasp once you start playing around with the arm. Now, as you can see, we no longer see the grapple, so let's extend the arm a bit and lower it to compensate for the uh, raise it does as we extend it. Now, look at the yaw. While we're extending the arm and not changing the attitude of the wrist, we're actually changing the uh, because we're not changing the joint angle, we join, uh, we are changing the attitude of the wrist. So we will need to compensate for that as well. If we move back and forth, up and down, you you will see a drift in the yaw, roll, and pitch uh, relative to the movement you actually make with the arm. So let's correct the pitch. Remember, I'm correcting it using the yaw because if you look, it's pitch backward 94 degrees 90 is here and 94 is a slightly backwards but this joint is the yaw I'm yawing the arm back to straighten up the uh, pitch now let's stop it around this place and let's yaw the shoulder we'll move the arm to the left using the 4 key to lower the X because we need to get it this way and this way because the arm is turned like this is actually moving it left while this will be moving it right this axis will be extend this one will be retract and the up and down are still the up and down so let's retract it a bit and turn it to the left still lowering it now judging the uh, grapple distance itself is fairly simple all we need to do to know is the to see actually it's those three points on the cross relative to this circle. Once they are roughly the same size, that means we're on point and uh, in range for the grapple. 